Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Math 4, Part 2 of Module 1. We're going to write a function called Compute Power. And we did this in an example where we're doing square and cube. And essentially, uh, if we wanted to square a number, we're going to say square or num times times 2. If we were cubing it, we would do num times times 3. Uh, since this wants us to raise it to the given exponent, we'll just say exponent. And we're probably going to spell it wrong. So we'll just copy and paste and return num time times exponent. Now, you might be thinking, hey, is there another way to do this? And there is, and we're gonna show it in just a moment. Let's make sure this works. I think it's something like math.pow, num, and then exponent. So like whatever you want to raise to whatever you want that raised to. Cool, so math.pow, num, exponent is the other way to do this, or as we previously showed, num times times exponent compute the square root. Uh, this is another one of those where there's a just there's a math method that allows us to do this. So we'll say return and then we say math sqrt for square root of the num. Cool. Double the square root of. Now we're not going to copy and paste this but if we computed the square root here essentially we're probably just going to multiply this value by 2 but let's write it out. So we'll say return two times math dot square root of num. You don't need to remove that. Any extra space in here is not really gonna count towards what the function does. Um, you do it long enough though, and this is gonna bother you a little bit. And then when you put it like that, it'll make you feel better. Um, although you might not have that same predilection. So running the test, and we're good because we multiplied two by the square root of the input num. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.